I think I was driven to start the Echo Foundation because of the uh, way I'd been raised. My father was an American Jew and my mother a German Lutheran and they met in the town of Dachau when my dad was disbanding the camps. And so I grew up in an environment of supreme tolerance and the idea of diversity is very attractive to me. When I discovered that that's not the case for everyone, as a matter of fact for some people diversity is fearful, I thought well maybe, maybe there's something I can do to change the world in some small way. At ECHO, we believe in the sanctity and worth of every living soul. And when you believe that, you have to care. And it equalizes us. And being equal, we know then that every person is entitled to food, entitled to potable water, entitled to the access to health care, and shelter, and education. So we wanted our students to understand that they have a personal responsibility to make the world a better place. I met Stephanie about 15 years ago, I believe, and one day she asked me whether I would be interested in joining the Board of Trustees of the ECHO Foundation. And after giving it some thought and educating myself about what the ECHO Foundation does, uh, I was privileged and delighted to accept. Well, I think the, the one that spoke to me most is the overriding issue of uh, speaking up against indifference and, you know, the ECHO mission of what one person, every person, can do to make a difference and act against indifference is very vital and important. At the end of one of our projects, a young student came to me and said, you know, I didn't think as a young person I could change the world, but now I know I can.